So today in this video, we're gonna go over all the wand handle locations in Hogwarts Legacy. Now there's a bunch of these in the castle as well as the outside world. So we're gonna start with the ones in the castle first. Now, unfortunately, I do believe that the wand that you get when you open the crate is random. However, the crates are always in the same spot. So I can't really label these other than a section. So you'll just have to go from spot to spot to make sure you have them all. Now, before you do this, make sure you can open level three locks because a lot of these chests are behind locked doors. So let's go ahead and start with the ones in the castle. Now in the faculty tower, if you head up these stairs here, you'll see this frog statue. Jump in the frog statue and he'll actually put you in this little secret room and the first one will be right here. Now head over to the frog choir room and up onto the left, you'll see a staircase. Make your way all the way up those stairs until you get outside. And once outside, you will see another one of these frogs that you can jump in. And once you're on the other side, you'll see the next crate right here. Now, moving over to the charms classroom, make your way in there and up these stairs. Head through the door and then up the spiral staircase. That'll take you outside and you'll find the next one right here. Now over on the west side of the dining hall, this door here, there's one right in here and to the left. From here, we wanna make our way up to the headmaster's office and you can just fly up to this balcony. It's a super easy way to get there. And once inside, it's gonna be immediately in and to the left. Now for this next one, you actually have to get to the very highest part of the castle and that takes a little bit of time if you've never been up here. Click the video up top that I'm gonna link to show how to actually get here because it's a little bit of a puzzle. But once you get up here, you'll see the chest right here. Now fast travel over to the Transfiguration Courtyard. Turn around and head in those double doors and then right up here, you'll see a single door. Head in there and you'll see the next chest right on the table. Now moving over to the Hogwarts North exit, hop on your broom and just make your way up and around to the right here and there's going to be a door on the side of this castle wall and the next one will be in here. Now make your way over to the bridge here on the outside of the castle and you'll notice that there's these four pots that need to be lit. So go ahead and run around and light all four of those. After you do that, you'll notice one of these covers here has a bunch of symbols on it and they correspond to a certain pot. Now adjust each number to match the symbol. And once you do all four, it will open up. You'll then see a ladder that you can crawl down and then immediately down and to the left will be the next one. Now head over to the clock tower courtyard and we once again have another puzzle. So we need to head up this door all the way to the top. And once you're up here, you're gonna see a room that's right over here that's actually gonna be locked if you haven't done this puzzle yet. And you'll see a symbol on the gate in front of the door. And essentially you need to freeze the clock in front of the corresponding symbol and that will unlock the door. And once the door is unlocked, make your way back over there, head inside and you'll see the chest right here. Now from here, make your way over to the library and over to the restricted section. We're gonna be running down this way for a while. Just keep making your way all the way down here. Eventually you'll reach a door right here and then inside, keep making your way down these stairs and you'll see the next one over on this desk. Now heading over to the grand staircase, immediately run down the spiral staircase here and over into the kitchen. You'll go through this painting here to get to the kitchen if you haven't been here before, but once inside, make your way over here onto the left and you'll see the next one on this table. Now fast traveling over to the bell tower courtyard, head left up the stairs into this single door here and then make your way in and immediately down to the left on this next set of stairs. Keep making your way down for a while until you get to the dragon statue.
One's here, make your way down this hallway into the room straight across, and the next one will be in and to the right. Now making our way over to the south wing and specifically the hospital wing, make your way down the wooden spiral stairs and then down the next set again. Keep heading all the way down until you see a door here on the right with a fireplace in the room. Cast Glacius on that fireplace to stop it and then make your way through it and up these stairs and you'll see the next one in this room. Now for our final one in the castle, head over to Professor Fig's class and it's right over here in the corner. So those were all the wands in the castle, so let's go ahead and start moving out of the castle into the world and go over those. Now directly south of the castle to this little area here, over by the shop stand, it's right here on the back side of the building. Now still down in the lower Hogsfield area, right down here by the shore, right by the fast travel point, you'll see an overturned cart and one will be right in there. Now moving right north to Upper Hogs Field. As soon as you fast travel there, this first building on the left, make your way in there and you'll see it in and to the left. Now still in the same area, just on the other side of the town, you'll see this one little hut here with a red wheelbarrow out in front and it's gonna be inside there. Now fast travel over to the pit upon Ford area and as soon as you fast travel you'll see this building right here and inside and to the right will be the next one. Now leave that building and make your way over the bridge here and you'll see the next building right here it's two stories head in there up the stairs and then you'll find the next one. Now make your way down to Irondale and you can use the Irondale fast travel point right behind here by the windmill you'll see a hut right here and it's going to be right down here on the right. Now still in Irondale but just turn around and you'll see this big wheel right here in the middle of town make your way that way and then toward the waterfall and you'll see a little platform and the next one will be right there. Now make your way over to the bottom right of the map to Cragcroft. Make your way over here by the big tree and on this first building right here, head up the stairs and you'll find the next one. Now still in the Cragcroft area, the building that's right behind up on the hill where we just were is gonna be the next one. So make your way up there. And once inside, head up the stairs and you'll see the next one right up here in the corner. Now fast travel over to the Marunweem fast travel point and make your way toward the middle of the town until you see this building right here that have the clothes hanging out front. Inside, it's gonna be right in front. Now leave that building, turn around and make your way up here toward this hill and right here at this building will be the next one. Now fast travel left over to the Feldcroft area and in the middle of town here you'll see this well and on the southeast side behind this building it'll be right here by these wooden logs. Now directly opposite side of where we just were, head over here and you'll see this single stone hut and it's gonna be in there. Now fast travel over to the Keenbridge fast travel point and from the town right here immediately to the left over in this garden area, over by the beehives, there's gonna be one right in here. Now from there, leave that hut and just turn around to the right and you'll see this main building right here. Head in there, up the stairs, and you'll see the next one.
Now heading over to the Orange Shire area, this building right here, there's gonna be one in and up the stairs. Now still in the same area, just over in this garden. Over by this wall, you'll see a bunch of rocks that you'll have to break and the chest will be under those. Now heading over to the Brockboro fast travel point. As soon as you fast travel here, right to your right, you'll see this building here and it's gonna be right by this chair. Now after you have that one, just leave that building and then head back toward the middle of town and you'll see this cart shop over here and right on the other side, you'll see it up on this ledge so you can use your broom to float up there. From here, use the Bainburg fast travel point. And then right over here by this shop, you'll see one behind here. Good to see you again. And from there, just back around the corner here, you'll see a single hut and one will be in here. Now at this point, you'll have all the regular collectible wand handles minus the five that you can get from quests. And the quests you'll need for these are Brother's Keeper, Evasive Maneuver, Absconder Encounter, Flying Off the Shelves, and Gobs of Gobstones. Once you do those quests, you'll now have all 42 of 42 wands unlocked. And as with anything in this game that you can collect, it is just purely cosmetic. None of these are going to give you a boost of stats or anything. It's just a matter of picking one that you think looks cool.